the people that program this game can go fuck themselves. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, oh, I've said Sonic 06 is one of the worst games of all time. The missions at least gave you some mercy. So let's try and do this bit without crouching this time. Seeing as apparently they don't expect me to know how to crouch before I get past this bit. Even though you're probably going to fail this part like 10 times before you actually get past it anyway. So yeah, good job there, programmers. Okay, I hope you got paid. <laughs> I hope you got paid in fucking Rice Krispies after this. See, what's the point? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this the exact same way I did last time. And... If I do it without crouching, it's going to fail me. Okay, let's let's see. Oh, no. Maybe not. Let's see. Oh, no, you don't. Because I know, I know this game works. So I'm just going to walk behind this guy. Because thankfully these guys don't have a sense of turn around. That's pretty much the only reason I was able to get through this. Because these enemies never seem to turn around, so, you know, it's like, you know, Milk is solid. The enemies actually turn around every once in a while. You know, they actually have proper AI. Like this game, where they just seem to do the same thing every time. Although, it's probably for the best. I mean, if the AI did change it up every time, this would be fucking impossible. Because at least in Metal Gear Solid, you could go through and just shoot people, you know, if you did get caught. Okay. So get back to work. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'd probably just shoot you in the face. See, I don't get this. Like, why is it with that random uh, text bit that comes up? Like, I'm guessing it's just Axel saying it to himself. But still, it just seems kind of odd. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. It's like, these... I mean, these levels, it just feels like they're just designed to make the game as long as possible. Given the limited resources and development time. And look how that guy glitched in the floor right there. You might not be able to see it um, from the video. But, I mean, look at... In fact, you know what? I'm going to get close upon this guy. Look at this. It's like... What the hell's going on? Yeah. Get back to work, rookie. Oh, Oliver, he's got, like, an anchor tattoo on him as well. In the Navy, we're gonna glitch right through the floor! In the Navy- No, um... So, what's the rumor when it is... This, isn't it? Yeah. So, because I can't get activate the cutscene straight away, I'm gonna have to go through all this again. Uh, let's see if I can... Let's see if I could do the cutscenes without failing again. Because I think I got kind of lucky the first time, because the timing seems to be a little bit off, as far as I can tell. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but that's what it feels like anyway. So we go here. I don't get these like random lights. I oh, know. I mean, I know to say like that's where you're supposed to go, but still, you know. <laughs> so, and then I, I, I don't know why I'm playing about trivial stuff like that. I mean, that's the least of this game's problems. Yeah, I just have the sound as well. You have these stock. Construction sound effects, even though you're in a mechanics, but whatever. The song is called The Mechanics! <laughs> oh, I kind of wish they had the mechanics by Megadeth in this game. But, you know, seeing as they couldn't even get the Axle F, you know, I'm probably asking too much of them. But yeah. Actually, I'm gonna say this I've never actually seen the Beverly Hills Cop sequels. Like, I've seen the first one, but I've never seen the sequels. I don't think this is based off any of them. Bugger. Okay. See if I can do this again. Because, what's the bit? If I get red here, it's probably going to fail me. Okay, so I managed to get the green. And I managed to get the green again. Okay, so I managed to get away with that, thankfully. Yeah. I, I will at least give him credit for not making it so you have to do perfect every time in order to get past it. But the conversation system is still retarded. Like, surely it will make more sense to have the, you know... Like, the guy asks the question, and then, you know, the three options come up on the screen, and you're supposed to select the best one. Like, that will make a lot more sense than just randomly, you know, doing this, like, roulette thing. And seriously, look at this, like, random characters on the screen. <laughs> he opens the... Or whatever the hell it's supposed to say. Like, it's not even code, it's just, like, random letters and 
punctuation. Okay, I love those shadows right there. It <laughs> looks brilliant. So we got the we got the Beverly Hills Cop riff off music again. Okay. So I just want to get this part over and done with. Bugger! Oh god. No! Stupid frame rate. Yeah, thankfully the, the enemy's aim isn't that good. Okay, why is... Why is it red when I'm highlighting this guy? Like, does it not detect that the guy died? Okay, well, the enemies fade eventually. I don't get why games do that. I'm guessing it's so... You know, it's to prevent the game from having so many models that the game lags. Which, as you've noticed already, this game is a serious problem with, even though the graphics completely fucking suck. So, yeah, good job there. So, I think at this point I can just start shooting the place up. So, you know what, I'm just going to hide here. This is probably easier than trying to do this. So, I just saw the guy going here. Okay, you're not blindsiding me, you bitch. Yeah. I suppose, the, I suppose this game is better out than I thought it did. It's not that saying much. But I like how... There wasn't a guy up here? It looks like there was. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe I'm just seeing things. So I'm going mad from trying to play this piece of shit. So you got this retard walking to the wall right here. I feel kind of bad shooting this guy because he's clearly retarded. But, you know. Oh god. It was kind of funny. There was actually a Beverly Hills Cop game for um, Amiga, I think. Like, I remember filming stuff to review on it, and he said that game was fucking terrible. I guarantee you he's never fucking played this. And if he did play it, he, he would take back every bad thing he said about that version. Because you know what? This... This might be the worst PS2 game I've ever played. Like, like no hyperbole. And what the hell is going on here? Is that like a bird that's stuck in the floor? Like, I don't even know. It looks like like a ghost bird or something. Like I now are these shots even registering or are they hitting the wall? Like I don't know. I say like, wall. It's like so. Just the thing. Like the target shows as red, but half the time you can't really tell if you hit the enemy or. And I can't even tell if the enemies are crouching or if they're just glitching through the floor. I have no idea. So I'll see this guy up there. Just shooting blindly like an idiot, but whatever. It ain't too boring to do the game like this. But you know, if I try to do it like normally, like I did last time. Oh okay, I know the cutscene randomly starts, that's brilliant. You know, while I'm in the middle of a gunfight. Yeah. So, another unskippable cutscene. Like, why couldn't they just let you skip the cutscenes? Okay, I've already seen this once. Okay, like, I know I'm supposed to get the gas. Now, no, I'm, like, uh, that's another problem I have. But, like, how does, like, how does Axel even know that's the right type of gas? Okay, like, because I'm pretty sure diesel cars existed back in the 80s. Like, maybe I'm wrong? Because, you know, I was no alive back then. Okay, why am I have I reappeared back here? This makes no sense. Like I know every, like, I know there are certain games where they'll put you in a different location after a cutscene, but usually there's some kind of explanation behind it. Bugger! Oh. I almost feel like I've got to turn down the control sensitivity just to get just so I can aim at the enemies. And am I even hitting the enemies? I can't tell, because I can't I can't even see the enemy, let alone tell if I'm even hitting them. And what the hell's even hitting me now? Is there an enemy in this room? Because I don't see him. Okay, and the the enemies are certainly not smart enough to like hot, to get cover. Okay, I can guarantee you that much. Cause let me tell you now, if the people who program this were capable of doing that, they would not be making a game this shitty. Why do these enemies take so many hits? Why can't they just have it so the enemies die after like five shots? Okay, now we find the dies. Okay, thank you. Thank you for falling on the floor. Oh, yeah. This is kind of sad. I'm actually legitimately getting pissed off at this game. Like, I wasn't even expecting this to be 
this bad gameplay wise. Like I knew it was going to be terrible. I knew it was going to be like unplayable shit. But you know what? Like this. This might be the worst game I've played on PS2. Like no hyperbole. Okay, for a second I thought ran out of bullets somehow. <laughs> oh yeah, good job. Oh, I'm just going to glitch here. Well, I let you shoot me. Okay, that's a great strategy. Actually, it is a great strategy because it helps you get through this level easier. So, the, actually, you know, I'm a, I don't even know what the ladders are. Okay. Ooh, head. That was real lucky right there. I think I got a headshot and just killed him in one hit. Over there, I shot him a bunch of times before and they walked away. <laughs> Who knows? Oh. Oh. There we go. Should I climb it that way? Let's sod it. Um, what happens if you walk off here? Do you lose? Because I wouldn't put past the developers for them to do that. And it's pretty sad that I'm 45 minutes in and I'm still trying to do this first mission. And yeah, for the record, I have been recording for 45 minutes. So okay, well, that guy's dead. Okay. So here are the enemies that killed me last time. Okay, one died. Thank God. By the way, who are these villains anyway? Like the game, I don't think the game ever really explained like who I'm fighting against or anything. And according to Tang's review, this first mission has sod all to do with the rest of the game. Okay, so apparently headshots are instant kill in this. Oh, maybe not. Apparently, oh no, maybe they insta kill certain enemies and then other ones. Like, why even hit me then? There's no enemies around here. So, how could they possibly kill me? This is fucking embarrassing. I'm saying embarrassing for the fucking developers, not even for me. No, it, like, to be able to develop a game this fucking unplayably shit. And of course I can't hide behind this car. And... <sighs> yeah, let's walk into the sky. Fuck it. Fuck it. I guarantee you enough guys walked in. Oh, of course I can't go through that door. Great. So get me this... Take me to this fucking health. Thank God. Okay. Maybe I can get through this level. Because I think there was another health pack somewhere. But I don't even remember where it is. I just know it's somewhere like randomly in the middle of this... In the middle of this mechanics place. Okay. Oh. Oh, great. Okay, so apparently someone else just spotted me. I don't even see... Like, where the hell are these enemies? Because they're not there. They're not up this bit. So as far as I can tell, the game is just throwing up random messages. Because where the hell are these enemies? Like, is the game just broken? <laughs> like, seriously, show me where the enemies are. Okay, show me where they are. Okay, point me to where the enemies are. So I can try to shoot them and then, like, fail the mission. But you know what? I'm actually going to do this. I'm gonna, I think I think this is why the look sensitivity was so low. It's so you can try to get headshots on the enemies. And I guarantee it, if I... In fact, let's save this game. Let's test this. Maybe, just maybe, if I save here, the game will let me retry from this bit. But something tells me that is not going to be the case. So let's resume game. So, oh, there's another enemy in here. Okay. Even though I filled him with an entire magazine, he didn't die. And there's, there's still people working on these cars. Who the hell is working on these cars? The ghosts? Are they secretly doing all... The hell? Use X to climb ladders, even though I'm not even, like... I'm nowhere near the ladder. In fact, 
wonder what happens if I do that again. It's Okay, it won't do it again. So apparently the game just does that randomly. Okay. So are there any more enemies around here, maybe? Or have I killed... Hopefully I've killed all of them. Okay. Like, I, I want to at least beat this first level. Because if I can get this first level out of the way, I would, <laughs> I would acquire... Or I would acquire... What the hell am I talking about? I'm so, this game has got me so pissed off, it's got me spitting at random shit. Not that I don't spit random shit anyway. But, um, yeah. Like, if I could beat this first mission, I would be so pleased with myself. I'd also be kind of depressed that I actually went to the trouble of beating this first level. But I think, I, I think all the enemies are dead at this point. Which raises the question, why can't I just shoot them all at the beginning? Okay, at least that way... The level will be less frustrating because I could just camp at the beginning of the level and kill them that way. And sure, you may say, What the fuck? L let me guess, the enemies are respawned. Yeah, and of course, this, this prick is running away. Yeah, well, I'm surprised the game randomly spawns in. So apparently, you get past that bit, the enemies just randomly spawn in again. Even though it makes no fucking sense. Let me guess, there's more people in here. Oh, okay, maybe they're just at the beginning bit. Oh, no. They'd be expecting way too fucking much. Okay. So, thank God! Okay, I actually managed to beat the first level. 